Hi guys, my name is Kaylee Young and I'm the owner of Flourish by K and I'm the 2018 Mayesh Design Star. I'm here today with Elise of K and Elise Styling and Event Design. Hi everyone. And we're going to talk to you about how florists and stylists can collaborate to make a beautiful event. So Kaylee and I have worked together in the past and we've talked a lot about some things that can really make an event the most beautiful and the most efficient um, in the process. And there were three things that we really came down to. Um, the first one, which we think is one of the most important ones, is communication. Um, communication is important in any line of business, but I think especially when you're working in an event, especially when it's a um, high energy, emotional event, it's really important to communicate early on in the process and often throughout the process, whether there be changes um, made by the client or something that you've come up against that maybe a venue or a vendor has, you know, hasn't allowed. It's good to just keep each other in the loop and communicate all those things. I think the main reason for a florist and a stylist not being able to work well together um, is just not communicating. Maybe not ha maybe not knowing about each other mm -hmm. or maybe not um, understanding each other's vision, but really understanding each other's vision is what's going to make something super beautiful and efficient. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of our next point is collaboration. So Elise has her ideas and mm -hmm. I have my ideas and when it's just my ideas, it's very one-sided, but when I bring it to the table and we work on it together, mm -hmm. um, we can come up with something that's super efficient and beautiful and um, can knock everybody's socks off because it's something that we collaborated on and it's a mixture of our two styles. So that flows into our last point, which is respecting one another. Um, it's important to understand that we've both been hired by the client as experts to help help them execute their vision for the event. Um, and I think a lot of times we might feel threatened by another creative person, but this, um, I think this only hinders the process and it really damages the atmosphere and it could really uh, damage the event in the end. So I think when you, when you have respect for each other, you see that person as a professional, you see them as an expert and you, and you can work together, that will really make the most beautiful, beautiful event for the client. So now we're going to jump into how Elise and I brought this tablescape to life. We both had different creative visions mm -hmm. and we collaborated to be able to make something really beautiful and elegant and something that expressed both of our styles. So Kaylee and I wanted to create a very structural, modern, but still classic look for this tablescape. Um, and we're going to start from the ground up. So one thing that's important as a stylist, um, is the table. That might sound strange, but the size of the table is very important um, when thinking about the placement of the plates, the, the glasses, the candles, the centerpieces, the bud vases, and everything that will be on the table. The table is going to hold that up and we want to make sure there's plenty of space for that. If you get a standard six by three foot table, you're not going to have enough room to really make it beautiful and not look cluttered or, or over overdone. So I always try to get a wider table. That way we can have, the guests can feel comfortable. They have room, their glasses aren't to their side. So that's something that's important for me. And that's something that we always want to do is make sure that there's enough space on the table. And then working our way up from there is our linen. The linen and the tablecloth, that's gonna be the backdrop for all of the beautiful things sitting on the table. So we wanna make sure it's a beautiful backdrop. We wanna make sure the colors are popping. There's complimentary colors being used and we want it to be fun. We don't wanna have just a basic white or black tablecloth. We try to avoid that as much as possible. One of the things that Elise and I really discussed before this photo shoot was the sizing of the table. And actually, originally we were going to go with something a little bit bigger, but based on the vase sizes that I had, we decided to go with something a little bit smaller. So for the florist and the stylist to communicate sizes is very, very important. And it will make your make or break your event. It will make your event look beautiful and full, or it will make it look scarce and scrimpy. Um, so definitely sizing is, sizing is something that's really important. Vases, plates, table, everything like that. After we got all of the logistics planned with the sizing of the table and the sizing of the vases, um, Elise showed me the tablecloth that she had picked out and it was this really pretty color and I decided to base all of the centerpieces off of this color. So the color palette and the types of flowers that I chose were based on this color, so complementary. So I did um, deep maroons and purples and then whites, lots of whites to keep it classic mm -hmm. and like lots of minimal detail flowers. Um, and I used 
a glass compo because I thought that was a really great kind of um, structural but still modern and classic piece. Um, and then the frog allowed for it to be a really structural arrangement. So I just thought it overall had a really modern feel and went with the um, table that she had envisioned and the colors that she mm -hmm. had um, envisioned as well. So then we added our plates, our cutlery, our glasses to the table. We kept everything very simple, very modern, very clean. We tried to avoid cluttering the table with unnecessary things. Um, and we just added a little sprig of mascara just for that modern element and to tie it in with the, with the centerpieces, which were beautiful. And lastly, to finish everything up, we added bud vases to the table. Mm -hmm. And bud vases are a really great way to fill up space and make something look really elegant and beautiful mm -hmm. and full. And it's a great way to highlight little detail flowers that are in large arrangements that you might not notice otherwise. Thanks so much for watching our video. And I just want to say on behalf of Mayash and Flourish by Kay, thank you to Elise for being here to style. And I also want to say to everyone out there, don't be afraid to collaborate, work mm -hmm. with other creatives and make some really beautiful things. Mm -hmm.